In this beginner tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to use Microsoft Sway for complete beginners. So without taking much of our time, let's get started. Sway is actually used to create a website. I can call it a website or a presentation that you can share with your friends and you can have them co-author the, the content with you or you can have them just view the content. Okay, It's a very, very easy, easy way to put in your content into the most lively form that you can have okay so to start with all you need to do is to come to sway.office.com you can notice that i uh, got a buy office 365 uh, plan here but unfortunately if you have your microsoft account it's a free to join and you can just use it so just click and sign in and you can use any of your microsoft account to sign in and get started so let's say i click on get started and it has logged in with one of my microsoft account I've just logged in with one of my Microsoft accounts. So this is, so you can log in with yours as well. So once you log into Sway, this is what you see. This is the platform you are going to be welcomed in. Over here, you can see some of your work, the edited ones that you have recently used. For example, you can you can click to create a brand new Sway from here. Or if you come down here, you can see a bunch of templates that you can start from. You can see them over here. And you can click on this arrow to see many more templates that you can check from and you can get inspired by a featured sway so you can check on any sway for example let's check on this and see at the content this is just a featured sway okay so you can see it so once you click or you just you move your mouse your mouse wheel you just you just you just scroll it and you can see uh, the content this is what your user is going to see this is how beautiful your content is going to look like after you use it to create after you use create to sway to create this okay so you can edit the way it looks right now it moves horizontal but once you come to this gear icon you click on this you can make it to look to appear vertical okay so you can see it is now uh, vertical and you can choose see the view and i think that kind of looks fantastic so let's say we want to start from a fresh blank sway okay so you just create a new sway from here just click on create a new sway and this is the storyline where you be given some hints on how what and what to do so over here you say title your sway okay so let's call it epic mentorship so you'll be given some hints add text images videos and more okay so let's say you've added some text and you want to add some and once you add a text you, you're free to put emphasis for example epic mentorship let's say we'll put this a column over here okay so you can put some emphasis from here so you select epic mentorship for example you want to emphasize epic mentorship you click on emphasis and you can see that it has bolded it a little bit and you can over here you can accent this you could accent it you can italize it or you can you can you can accent it which means you can just italize it and you can put in some link for example epic mentorship you can select it and put a link to it so that you can say maybe epic mentorship.org you can use this link and anyone that clicks on this is going to take him to my website okay so over here you have to add a background so you click to add a background and you can see some suggestions over here swear usually give you this suggestion okay you can browse content from any place okay so this is suggestion and you can just search or you can just uh, let's say we'll search for something and you can see an a preview of your content your title with the with the sample of the background that is suggesting for you if you want this background you can take it and, and you can just click to have it for example i can just click and you can see the the bigger picture of the of the image okay so because we're talking about mentorship i think this can make a very good background to us and once you select it or you can check around to select other images as well okay so let's say we go with this i think this one kind of looks cool okay we can click on add to add this okay so once you come over here at the top here you can see you can bring in image you can bring in videos and then you can have licensing issue okay you can check this to have creative commons only so you'll be free from copyright because over here you say you are responsible for respecting others right including copyright so you can check this to include creative commons so images that are free to use so let's say we take on this and we click on insert to add it so let's say we take on this and we click on insert to add it as our image we can close we can click on this to add some more content so over here let's say we we want to add a heading and let's say we make it um so let's say we click to add about dr rashid 
so we can put some emphasis here and we could put some background if you have an image that you want to bring in you can check on suggested or you come to suggested and you can see a bunch of other places where you can bring in images maybe from onedrive if you have from Flickr, from bing images or you can check from youtube also or you can check from your device most importantly so let's say we are checking from my device and we want to check from here and we want to take this photo okay so we'll take this photo and we'll just bring it in okay and over here you're free to check the details of the photo okay you can see it okay you can do quite a lot with this you can emphasize or you can show focus point on the picture for example you select the picture and you see a preview of it this is how it's going to look like on the picture on the computer okay and this is how it's going to look like on the phone but then when you want to show the uh, some focus points you're free to just click to showcase the uh, focus point even though okay you can see it now coming up okay so you have your the full area so your picture can kind of look much more professional and you're free to drag and drop the content so that you you will kind of centralize it to make it to show the areas you want to capture and you can see the image showcasing it uh kind of kind of cool okay i think it's kind of looking uh, much better now okay so if you want to take in the entire picture you can just take on this so it will take the entire picture but right now i think this kind of looks cool uh looking at the preview over here that you have okay so you close this and you finish with the background you can minimize this and over here now you can bring in other things for example you can you can bring in come to media and you can see you want to add a video and let's say on the suggested i want to bring in a video from my youtube channel and you can see these are videos from my channel you're free to search from for anyone and let's say we want to take on this one and we just add it directly okay so this has just added it you can put some text let's say yes yeah, so how to use google my maps you can just emphasize it a little bit and you can put on other other text as well if you want okay so let's send the next item that we want to add the next content we just click and we want to make it uh, a header okay so we can type in something let's say public speaking public speaking and we can put a, a background to it okay you can just uh, come over here and you can come to insert and you can it will help us to find come to insert and and to help us to find something public speaking okay we just select public speaking and we, we can search we can see quite uh, a lot of things but then we can just select this one for example just select this uh, alternatively we want to write something about public speaking so we'll close this so the next thing is going to be a text about public speaking so we'll click on add and it's going to be a text and it's going to be about public speaking as well all right so we can also come to insert we can decide to write or we can come to insert and we can maybe select any image for example this image or this one or we can clear selection let's say history of public speaking and you're free to check on any of them so once you select on anything you can see the link over here you can just click to visit that link and you can copy some content and, and, and come over and maybe make some editing and just bring it into your content so since you can copy this as part of your okay so you can just copy this content and maybe you can edit it and then just bring it into your sway let's say let's say we paste it over here okay we paste this content over here after editing of course you just edit and you can emphasize and put numbers or you can put uh, links or you can put some bullets at some points uh, as appropriate so once you're done you satisfy with it you can have a look at the design from here you can just click to see the design how your content is going to look like and you can see it by just moving your mouse you can see uh, from the beginning okay this is a pigmentorship clearing your ideas this is just the first style uh, this is this goes on okay so if you are satisfied with this you can leave it if you are not you can even change the style you come to style and you can make it vertical for example now you can view it in the vertical direction right about dr Rashid, and you can see this uh, youtube video that we just inserted you can click to view to play it in this video i want to 
yeah so you can click to play it easily and you can come to the next okay and you can just have a look at how your page is going to look like if you're satisfied with it like this uh, another key feature that you can use is the remix button you can always remix if you are not certain or if you are not comfortable with the kind of design that you have from this okay you can always remix until you are certain of what you get okay all right so you keep uh, uh you can keep clicking on remix until you get something that nearly fits in what you want for example this kind of looks cool and you, you uh, down here you can customize your sway with custom colors typography and textures okay so you can select from the bunch of uh, typographies that you have and textures and you can see it's changing the whole view of the things accordingly all right you're free to change the looks okay so you can change it accordingly to any kind of look that you want for example this one I think this kind of looks cool and you can take it as your own uh, style okay so once you're done you can close out and you can have a look or a preview of what it's going to look like okay you have the video and you have public speaking but you have to put it in such a way that uh, you can change the emphasis if you want you can always go back to the storyline and add more content or and you can select this and put in some focus points and you can see the sample how it's going to look like from for example in the pc so you could put some focus points over here 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 so the content is going to kind of look uh, complete and much more better okay so once you're done you can close on this and you can have a preview also of how it's going to look like in the design okay and you can see i think it kind of looks okay so you're free to play around with it but the final look of this your sway story is when you play it to your audience that's what your audience are going to see so you just click and this is what they will see and as they move this is what they see and this is how it's going to look like okay so at the end of it all you're free to share with your friends you can come back to the edit menu and you continue with the editing or you can share with your friends once you click on share you have the option to uh, allow the viewer to just view or to edit or you can you can just copy this link and share with the person anybody with this link can only view you cannot edit but once you click on edit it's going to enable the viewer to also edit and collaborate with you on this content and i think that's fantastic so over here to this gear icon you can select this is the default okay the vertical you set it to vertical and you're free to set it to horizontal and many more okay so at these three dots you can kind of create a new sway directly or you can duplicate this way you can print it or you can export it usually in two formats in microsoft word or in pdf you can export your sway and you can have them play in microsoft word or in pdf okay very easy to export and use them so in a nutshell down here you have the option to down here you have an icon that when you click it's going to give you some like a table of content or a preview of the entire slides of your presentation okay so you click on this and you can see all of them in like a slide okay like moving slide you can see slide one for example once you click it will get you there you can click you can see slide two once you click it's going to take you to the second slide and we see you can see slide three once you click it's going to take you to the third slide once you're done you can always come out to my sway and you can see the this way you've just created you can always edit from here additionally you can start a sway from a topic or start a sway from a document if you have a document you can always start from here okay so this is just a not in a nutshell how to make use of uh, sway to build your own page or to build your presentation or to build your own website i can take it as, as that okay ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more of our very very useful videos i'll see you in my next video